get one job. Um, I just got a thing that says watch live now. Yeah. That's supposed to. That's oh. what they're seeing right now. Okay. That's what it's supposed to have. That's how it's supposed to work.
What's up, guys? Hello. Hey, our first video without a hitch. How about that? Right. High five. Other right. Other than the kids in the background. Other than the kids in the background, I literally just <laughs> said, like, why did we do this so early? And now I remember the kids were still sleeping on weekends. Mm -hmm. So now they're not sleeping. Now they are awake and moving and making all kinds of noise. Yeah. In fact, one of them even showered. So 10 a.m. I think is probably the best. But this is better time for people to get to go to church and get home and, you know, watch us and get their keto, keto on. Mm -hmm. Yo, Homestead's been busy house hunting. Packing, filming, and editing videos for two channels. That is busy. Yes, yes. That you know, busy. I have a, to admit, Keto Homestead, we don't actually know your real name, but Miss um, <laughs> Homestead. Um, but uh, so Stacy has now sort of dived into the, what is it? ASMR. ASMR stuff. Thanks, thanks to you. So <laughs> thank you for that. We spent a few hours the other night going through different channels and, and whatnot. Uh, yeah. So... I'm thinking I'm gonna try it too. Yeah, yeah. Not anytime soon, yeah. but maybe in the next couple of months. So good choice on the pork rinds too. Well done, well done. Yeah, so that's interesting. So thanks every, for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks for that. That's exactly what we need: is more things to suck up time. <laughs> uh, I mean, I but I did feel the rea you know the get the reaction though, which was I really did too. cool. Yeah, I did so too. like. So it was really cool. And it was interesting because it was like in the intro thing. I think it was Gibby or one of the more popular GB, yeah. GB whatever, more popular ones. Like, like start getting that tingling going. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah, like this stuff works. So, yeah, interesting stuff. So obviously we'll leave in the description. Um, what Keto Nikki, Homestead. hi Nikki. Nikki, hey, that seems fitting. Nikki. <laughs> now we know. Now we know. I'm I'm Greg. And that's Stacy. <laughs> All right. So cool. So hopefully audio is working better. I think spending a little extra time and getting all this stuff figured out hopefully is making things better. Um, we already did all our tests, so we have some information to share with you on that. Mm -hmm. uh, and you have something else that you wanted to discuss, right? About the whole... Uh, Keto evangelism. Oh, keto evangelism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, deer in headlights. You're the one that brought it. Like, I want to talk about this. I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, I think we should get to the numbers and stuff. Yeah, first. we should do that first because everybody's probably wanting to see what that is, and then we'll talk about the next part. So, are you going first or am I going first? Uh, let's do yours first. Okay, before we throw it up there. Yep. Um, really interesting. If you watch the update video. I did mention that I went up in the early to mid part of the week, and I went up from was it 245 something point something to 248 even, and that was like Wednesday or Thursday. Um, and I had the assumption that it was either from going over on Easter, or it was a hormonal thing, and I'm gonna go with the hormonal thing yeah, because she now, bam, throw it up there. Okay, that's up. <laughs> Boom. Because now. I'm actually lo less than last Sunday. I'm 0.8 pounds down from last Sunday. 0.8. She said a, she said a pound when she walked out of the bathroom all well, triumphant. I didn't say a pound. You did actually I said say a pound. I said I was still going down. Going down. Downward trend. Down still with a on, pound. On whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, I think. I mean, it's probably a combination. In all honesty, I think there that the, been. the Easter. But I'm I mean, gonna blame it on the hormones. Because I had the exact same thing happen, and I don't have your hormones. <laughs> On the inside, anyway. I, I get to deal with the hormones on, on the outside for her. Whatever. My <laughs> blood pressure was a little high today for me. Yeah. And she didn't check it four times, guys, if oh. you ever saw the first live. Bill says he can barely hear us. Oh. Barely hear us. Hi, Bill, by hi, the way. Hi, Bill. Thank you, Bill. Audio is... Let us know if that's any better, Bill. Thank you. So, yeah. Um, pulse was down. Pulse is down. Weird. Yeah. So blood pressure's up, pulse is down, whatever. I only did it once this morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and my blood pressure uh, is doing, well, we'll talk about mine in a second. So so 244.8, which is 0.8 from last week, which was 245, right? Hey, they got the same right? thing. Who's, who's that? Their kids that are, yeah, kids have friends over. Oh. Yeah. That's our house every weekend, pretty oh, every much. Every weekend, yeah. There's at least two. Yeah. Teenagers. 
so ours is like the house to hang out at like mm. that's what happened back in the day with m when i was a teenager is my house was the house to hang out so kind of carried it through and it's funny because a lot of the parents of my kids friends they will want them to come over because i think they just want them to get out of their house and they want a good influence <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah so my kids that generally are pretty good so yeah but so glucose 85 mm -hmm. and your ketones were 2.1 mm -hmm. so i was happy to see your ketones have come down they've been hanging around almost three whatever so it's good it's good <laughs> it's good yeah <laughs> Uh, so should I throw my numbers up? Careful, your eyes are turning green. Uh, green. Oh, envy. Yeah. 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 Put yours up. All right, mine's are coming up. <clears throat> Greg, numbers. Did Bill ever say if it was better or no? Um, he said it might just be them. Okay. Because they have the kids that have friends over. Nikki, are, are you able to hear okay? Hi. I didn't hear your name. <laughs> Nikki Homestead. <laughs> uh, All right. Put your numbers. up. All right, my numbers coming up. All right, so she says uh, she can hear. Great, great. So, uh, blood pressure has been the lowest it's been in a, quite a while, which is good. One twenty-five over seventy-two, um, which is awesome. I am down, as you can see, 0. 0.8 pounds from last week. So, um, and I had a little topsy turvy thing going on, like it was up, it was down, it was up, it was down. Um, and I think a lot of it was from Easter and Stacy's hormones. Whatever. <laughs> Sorry, just a second. She's got to use this as a mirror. She's been doing this like while we're sitting here. She's like trying to figure I out. I can't see it because you got that going on on there. What? What? No, that's it's because we're transitioning. Anyway, so yeah. So overall, a good week. Glucose is a little higher than I normally expected it to be, but 92 isn't bad. And 1.4 on the ketones. So very happy with that. Mm -hmm. And very happy with the week overall. So I'll turn it over to you. You wanted to talk about keto evangelism. Yeah, so I don't really know. Um, I don't. I guess I. I, I, it out. I can't get it out. So yeah. we were talking yesterday, and I kind of, you know, I don't know if anybody's seen the memes, and you might want to. Oh yeah. I don't know if anybody's seen the memes where you know people are like talking, putting those memes out there about how. There's like somebody with this like really weird look on their face, and it's like I haven't talked to someone about keto in five minutes. Or, right. Um, it's like the the Jehovah Witness type thing, and knocking. Have I, you know, have you, have you accepted keto? Or I don't even remember. Saving you what, from yeah. What all of them are, but anyway. So I just wondered how many people. Are as excited are, about keto as we are. Well, like that, and like, but restrain yourself as well. Oh, like, finding the restraint. Yeah. Like I, I told him yesterday, I find myself constantly like mentally checking myself when I'm talking to other people, um, especially when it comes to food, because I just want to like verbal diarrhea, the keto stuff all over the place. And I know they've already heard it from me, so I try not to. And I just, I don't want to be one of those people that... Stacy went keto and now she won't shut up about it. Exactly. Yeah. Like they're, you yeah. know, and I'm not knocking any religions in any way or anybody you know finding their way with that but like when you think of like the the second or born again christians and, and they're very and it's like they're excited about it and they want to share their excitement and their yep. happiness with everybody else so it's kind of along that same line for me and so that's why i'm kind of like that whole term keto evangelist like i get it now yeah makes sense. i get it and it's like i'm just curious if anybody else has irritated anyone <laughs> yeah well or if you find yourself like maybe shying away because i will do that too i'll be like i'll hear people talking and i'm like mm, not saying anything right <laughs> yeah and it's also not only that but it's also hard when somebody like grabs a bag of chips and you're like mm -hmm. yeah because <laughs> it's you like know? you know it's you know those of us that are doing the keto we know it's yeah. good for us we know that the the old standard way of eating is not good so it's like you want to help everybody but you're helping maybe construed as meddling yeah so i, I can throw a little um <clears throat> little knowledge in that i guess not not knowledge but a little experience 
So my sister and my brother-in-law, who don't watch my channel because they kind of live out in the boonies and don't really YouTube much. Um, but so they both went through this big life altering change last year and, and lost a lot of weight, both of them. Um, and they did it with the low carb, um, high protein sort of eating plan. So Atkins ish. Um, but a lot of pretty much everything they ate was chicken, like chicken, 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 mm -hmm. chicken. And so, I mean, that's kind of a miserable life, at least to me anyway. Um, so if you eat chicken every day, don't hate me. I'm just saying to me, chicken every day, couldn't do it. So, um, but, but they also added to that regime where they were walking like literally 10,000 steps a day, um, mm -hmm. which isn't that much, but when you do all your work and most of it's an office job, adding 10,000 steps is sometimes a, a daunting task. Uh, so they were doing it and they were very successful, but as soon as they stopped, as soon mm -hmm. as they changed the plan, uh, everything started to come back. Um, and they put on pretty much everything that they, they lost, they got back. Um, so as soon as they stopped walking, as soon as they stopped eating chicken every day, they started. So I think some of the, the joys of keto is that you can have a diet that doesn't always <laughs> consist of the same thing every day. Bill's eating chicken right now. Yay, Bill. Delicious. Um, so there's just been some, some yeah, yeah. responses. So. Go for it. Uh, Nikki said she feels the same way, and Bill tries really hard not to be that guy. Um, but if they ask, he can answer the best he can without going too deep. Which, that's where it's like that's kind of yeah. like what like where do you where do you turn that filter on? Yeah, yeah. It's like, like knowing what it's it's one of those things like religion. Like when people are ready to hear it, mm -hmm. they will find you. Yeah. When they're not ready to hear it, they do not want to listen to you. And that Stacy does not stop talking about the keto. But the also, and that's and that's the other thing too that we struggle with is that with, particularly with people who because there's a lot of misinformation out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of misinformation, yep. and so people hear that misinformation, they're getting it secondhand, and they don't understand it. So they're just and then they basically regurgitate it back to regurgitating us. back, <laughs> and we're like, what? No, that's nothing like that. <laughs> Like that's that no. So this is how you actually supposed to do it, and then they're like, oh okay, you know, and then, you know, yeah. you know what happens next. But so then there's also the group of people that are like, dude, teach me. Like I want to yeah. lose weight. Teach yeah. me. Like let us become your proteges. You know, do stuff. Yeah. Which that's awesome because then so. you then you can like, you don't have to filter. You don't have to feel right. like you're stepping over a line or anything. Right. Right. And when they're when they're anxious and they're interested in the knowledge, then you can portray it to them. Oh, hey, it looks like there's somebody might be here. Dogs are in the background checking us out. Nope. Oh yeah, it's somebody working on Ireland. Evidently, bed. yeah. <laughs> Hang on, we gotta make sure that no we're not in danger. Oh, sit down. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, there reading, it is. Bill said tell, he tells them to read a book or check out some YouTube videos, which yeah. we tried that in the very beginning. We right. tried to have our friends check out Dr. Berg's channel, right. and they still, like... They're like, eh, I don't got know. time to watch that Jolly Rancher mother. Well, no, like, Dan pulled it up and yeah. was... I, I wouldn't trust that guy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. just like... <laughs> that whole Mr. Rogers vibe, you know, type deal. Yeah. <laughs> As we mentioned in our alcohol video. Yeah. But... Yeah, so th that's the thing, too, is, like, one of the things. So people that come to you for keto questions, I'll send them to our channel. But if they want to learn about keto, I definitely don't send them to our channel. Be like, no, go to go to the more scientific approach. Because mm -hmm. he does have a good way of approaching he does, it. He does, you know? And I know Bill's a big fan of Dr. Fung, is it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah, of that book, which yeah. I want to read. Which, yeah, um, got that audio book recently. Yes, so. Nikki, it is a blue Yeti. It is a blue Yeti. <laughs> Puts out the best sound quality when it is left vertical and not tilted. Interesting. Like this? Input is received is the front and back, not on the top. Oh, huh. interesting. Well, news. Thank you. Is that is that better then? Like, it's now vertical. So why do they put on these really cool stands and let them tilt? I don't know. Interesting. Um, Bill said they've had a good half dozen um, friends and family asking for insights. Yeah. And I don't know. I mean, I've had more people, um, more people from work, I think, asking me about it than friends or family. Because they noticed, like, the weight loss? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, 
in the last probably month I've had a lot more people asking about it so then you know I try to like again I try to like give like the yep. kind of the overview like this is kind of how it works this is what we've been doing this is what works for us but everybody has their own keto yeah everybody has their own keto and oh Bill said it's louder now <laughs> thanks Nikki <laughs> I, I really don't do this for a living or anything, computer technology or anything. <laughs> Odie. <laughs> anyway, um, uh. so yeah, I thought it was kind of fun though. Last weekend, my uh, my mom, my stepdad came up and had yeah. dinner, which we had some amazingly awesome chicken, and we'll have a yes. video coming out for that. That was good. Um, sometime soon. And my mom was very, she's been pretty interested in it. But she was very interested. She spent quite a lot of time actually having a conversation with you about yeah. the science and stuff behind it. Um, and we showed her Dr. Berg's channel. And um, she has some some autoimmune issues. She has uh, rosacea. And uh, she thinks she may be developing Hashimoto's. Um, so she was really interested in learning how the keto works, the keto way of eating works to... Um, kind of help clear that up because there's another channel um the complete keto couple mm. and she had Hashimoto's oh yeah yeah and she started keto i think they started keto in december or no september september of last year and then i think in december she had some blood tests done and found out that the hashimoto's was gone which is awesome yeah that's so, amazing that's why I've brought up. What is Hashimoto's? It. It's a more advanced form of thyroid disease. Okay. Which I have hypothyroidism. Right. So it's like more advanced on that. More advanced. I don't know like the complete ins and outs of it, but I right. know that I follow my mom's footsteps with a lot of her health problems. So Genetics I'm hoping does I can, that. Right, Bill? <laughs> I'm hoping I can. Uh, that was that was kind of a, that was mean. That wasn't mean. I was just insinuating that he's he, having a rough he has, time he, he's not having a rough time. He's learning stuff. I understand. Uh, anyway. I wasn't being mean. Anyway, I'm just so saying he's I got some hoping, more discovery to do. Stop. I am hoping <laughs> to uh, head some of this stuff off before it even starts. Which is great. Do you have a comment? I was glaring at the dog so he'd stop. Oh, stop yeah. licking. Oh. Because it drives me nuts. Um, let's see. <laughs> Bill has his PC cranked to 10. He can barely hear. So it's not louder then? No, he said I put on another video random on YouTube and it blew him away audio-wise. I don't know why it's not working. Yeah, I don't either. It was pretty good last week. Unless we just need to move closer to the microphone and talk like this. Is this better, Bill? <laughs> Um, Nikki said her husband did a lot of research on the mic for his gaming, but now she uses it for ASMR. Nice. <laughs> Which is funny because I originally got the mic because I was going to try to do audiobook narration, which has kind of been pushed on the back shelf lately. So somebody stole it for, well, this, for this and for World of Warcraft. Well, yeah, a little bit, but not really much. Uh huh. Because I stole it way before I started playing World of Warcraft. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Um, she also said they helped their in-laws join keto. Nice. Feels so great to have other family members along with the journey. Now we have people who understand what we're talking about. Family functions. Yes, right. that would be awesome. <laughs> right. That is that is cool because then you get the. Bill said it's better. Oh, good. So uh, yeah, that way it does it helps a lot, right? When you got the people that are supporting you are also bringing keto dishes rather than bringing yeah, exactly. potato salad and deviled eggs <laughs> that are made with. Uh, Miracle Whip, right? So yeah, yeah. So that I mean, that would definitely make family functions a lot easier because yeah. you don't have to worry about stuff as well, much. Yeah, other mean, than maybe if you're tracking your macros, then you know, keeping track of finding out what's in the other stuff that everybody else is bringing. Odie, you are getting ridiculous. You're gonna have to get your shit under control, or we're gonna have to separate this little connection we have right here. So, yeah, I mean, the thing with the family functions is that they're usually centered around food, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, everybody's bringing a dish to pass and, you know, yeah. So, it makes it a little bit more challenging. 
So how would you guys' Easter's? Would everybody have a good Easter? Everything was great? Hopefully. Good <laughs> peace and family. Well, then ASMR took keto to a whole new niche. Yeah, that's not what I'm planning to do. Not the not, mukbang. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stacy can't handle when, like watching people eat. It's challenging for her. So, so she can listen to them eat. And that she founds a little bit more of an ASMR. But, like, watching them eat? Oh. It's not her thing. So, therefore, she applies it to herself and doesn't necessarily... No, well, I was watching some of the other things, and it's like, I don't know if I could handle doing the role play thing either. That's kind of... Oh, yeah. I don't know if I can do that. Um, But... But the costume. So, no. So, so Stacy thinks cosplay is only about wearing costumes. But I explained to her that it's more about just wearing costumes well i like wearing i like the costume yeah, aspect yeah, of yeah. it that's that's all and keto homestead was or N- nikki sorry she was putting she was tagging her ketolicious asmr is ketolicious her. asmr yeah nice because we subscribe to it oh her, right right yeah was that's that her channel oh, her, I, her second channel i thought it was something else no oh did you change the name because i thought no. when i originally saw it oh man okay he's a typical man yeah I slept since then. That's not your line? Yeah, that's my yeah. line. You can't use that. So, oh, and I got your mom while she's up. I got her to pick up one of my French presses. <laughs> <laughs> she went to Walmart, picked it up, tried it, ground a coffee, come back, and then messaged me and said, hey, what kind of coffee did you use? I'm like, yeah, buy all the equipment, but the coffee itself isn't any good, isn't high quality, then you're going to probably mm-hmm. be off a little bit. People watching is great. Stacy says they go to Comic Con here in Detroit every year. Yeah, I was so mad. Gen Con coming up. We didn't know Detroit had a Comic Con. Yeah. And I think it was last year. I don't remember when, but it was like a month after Comic Con. He's looking at something on his phone. He was like, "Oh, guess who was at the Detroit Comic Con?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Who?" And he was like, "The guy that plays Braun from Game of Thrones." And I was like, "What? <laughs> what?" <laughs> yeah. I was so mad. Yeah. I want to go to the Chicago one, the San Diego one. We have one in... San Diego one's the big one. Yeah. We have one in Grand Rapids um, that we did not go to last year, but we went the previous two years, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, last year, I think mostly just because, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. I have anxiety yeah. issues <laughs> <laughs> um, when it comes to the unknown yeah. Which it's not really unknown, but it is. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so it's just, it's a whole rabbit hole. This, this whole process around. has been a little bit of a, a, a step outside of Stacy's comfort yeah. zone, too, being on camera and broadcasting. So it's yeah. cool. Yeah. So speaking of cons, though, Stacy's really wanting to go to KetoCon. I do. I do. I want to go to KetoCon. Which is in Texas, right? It's, mm-hmm. yeah. Which means that maybe Nikki's going to be going to, since she lives in Texas, we maybe. understand. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So let us know, Nikki, if you're going to be there or not. <laughs> She's laughing about me being defensive on her behalf. Yeah. Women got to stick together. Got to stick together. <laughs> Especially when it comes to this one. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm an angel. Don't don't look at me. Yeah, Stacy's wearing her horns today. No. It's a faux hawk. It's a faux. It's a faux something. <laughs> faux mess. Whatever. You're just jealous. Yeah, I don't think so. Because your hair is not as fun as mine. That's true. My hair is definitely not as fun. I still have multiple colors. I just have the, the brown and the gray going on here. But, yeah, and the beard got the multiple colors going on, too. So. Oh, we have a new one. Shauna. Uh, hi, guys. Usually a silent subscriber. Love you. Thank you. Yay. Thanks for stopping uh, by. Stacy, I can see your weight loss in your face today. Oh, good. Thanks. I appreciate that. Awesome. Awesome. Um, successfully did a complete keto Easter. That's awesome. That is amazing. Like the holidays is literally the hardest part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, especially because if you have the gatherings, you know, and family like family that's not keto and. The last mean, time, what we told them, we said, yeah, you know, like, if, look, you, if you if you want anything that's not keto, you're you, gonna have to bring it. You yourself. bring it. So they did. They brought rolls. <laughs> they brought potato salad. <laughs> they, my mom was so so concerned about my sons <laughs> not having potatoes that she actually brought a few baked potatoes. I did allude to the fact that if she had extra, they probably would appreciate it. So there was three <laughs> baked potatoes that were also eaten. So 
yeah but yeah nikki said i've gotten better on camera thank you i've been trying yeah she's i'm trying to like be more myself yeah instead of reserved and scared <laughs> she hides behind the hair <laughs> like she puts her personality in cosmetics i don't hardly wear any cosmetics not medics. What i mean the hair about? whatever the dye <laughs> stuff is um she said she really wants to go but it's like 250 a person last she saw yeah at least you don't have to buy airfare right we'll just shack up at your house <laughs> that way we don't have to pay for hotel <laughs> i really want to go how far away is it like, I don't remember what city is it in. I can't remember where it's at. Is it Austin? Austin, yeah. Maybe, I don't know. I can't I've remember. been to Austin a few times. We do need to check the airfare prices again, though. Yeah, you were supposed to check into that. I got some yeah. miles for work that I could probably use to get one ticket at least. But 250 a person, that's still... I mean, you can get all this wonderful knowledge on YouTube. You don't need to go to KetoCon. She's not amused. She's still there. Speaking of cons. Speaking of cons. We got Gen Con. Yeah, Gen Con coming up. I'm excited about that. That's in August. That's in August. And then yeah. I want to go to Con of Thrones. Yeah. Yeah. Is that actually a thing? Tennessee. Is that actually a thing? It was supposed to be a thing for my birthday. I know. It was supposed to be a thing for your birthday. But all Vegas was also supposed to be a thing for your birthday. Well, it got changed. Yeah. But no. I'd rather. I don't think you've officially made the plans, though. Like Corey I don't think... and I did. Have you bought tickets? No. Then I don't think you officially made plans. We made plans. You, we just had, had an to idea. take the next step. Right. In the plan. Which is planning. <laughs> there's there's thinking, then there's planning. Have we mentioned I'm not good at planning. Oh my god, no. Um, Nikki said that she thinks it's in Austin. Yeah. So, awesome. I want to go to cons. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna go to cons. I'm actually going to Gen Con. This yeah, well, year. she goes he's, one day. He's been going. So, for... I take my sons for <clears throat> four days. So, I'll probably do some eating vlogs there because that'll be challenging. Yeah. Uh, because that whole atmosphere, like eating and all that other Constant stuff. Constant eating out. Yeah, so I'll definitely be doing some ketoizing there, no doubt. Uh, but it's going to be interesting because being almost 100. Uh, I suspect that I'll be down 100 pounds by the time I go. Um, and it was a huge daunting. Like, that was, was I a think. a lot of walking. That was the, the focal point of, of realizing exactly how obese, overweight, and uh, difficult it was, um, is, is those events. That and getting on an airplane and sitting in that little bitty seat <laughs> with his great big body. So, yeah, those, uh, <laughs> those definitely uh, help really reel in the fact that how far your diet has got out of control and how, how bad things have gone yeah so i'm gonna go the last day yep. because i can't handle the people which yeah. is hilarious because i want to go to these things and because I know of the people be super she wants busy. to go because she wants to see the people but, but i can't doesn't... handle all the people like it just which is hilarious because they have a parade on Saturday, which is where all the people are lined up, all their costumes and stuff, which is yeah, what she most be interested. Yeah, that's going to be the busiest day, and I just, I can't handle it. I can't. But it saves me a lot of money and an extra day of ticket, so. Yeah, because the Sunday I support ticket's her, only $15. I, I support her avoidance in this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind Adam in the background somewhere. There he is. Yep. <laughs> you know, it, I want to say anything, but Jackson Douglas is leaving at 1. So. Yeah, you're good. Jackson yeah, no problem. Okay. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> Some um, of the friends are leaving early. What? Sounds like they're both leaving. Yeah, sounds like it. Bill said traveling in keto is something he's still working on. Yeah, it sounds like Stacy's doing a great job uh, about uh, eating her meals outside of the house. It's two meals. I don't know how. Because you, you really only eat one meal uh, out of the house now, right? Yeah, yeah just you don't lunch. Eat yeah. yeah, and I usually take it. Because um, we're doing intermittent fast, so you're doing the sixteen eight intermittent fasting, and I'm doing the eighteen six intermittent fasting. Yes, Bill says he gets two seats for the airplane. Two seats. He needs the extra hip and leg room. Oh yeah, I can understand that. I and mean, you're super tall. So. I think he has an emergency keto snack bag. Yeah, that's a good idea. What's in an emergency keto snack bag, Nikki? I think that's a good idea. We should do that. But speaking of eating outside the house, so 
I've talked before about how we have a luncheon the last Friday mm -hmm. um, at work the last Friday of the month. And normally I don't partake because it is carb-laden, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's normal like, diet stuff, right? It'll be Olive Garden or yeah. um, what else do they do? I can't think right now. But anyway, so this month for April, it was my department that um, got to set it up. So I, of course, brought in Fiesta Burrito because that's what we like. That's where we go. And yep. we, we actually order Fiesta Burrito almost on a weekly basis at work because um, he'll deliver it for us. And uh, so everybody really likes it. And I so asked, good, I, yeah. I had him do, you know, just like two tacos for everybody and then just make up a bunch of like taco shell, taco salad shells um, for anybody that might want to do that. But then I had him make me a couple of cheese shell tacos. Yeah. So he like made up my tacos for me all separate and put them in a container and he put avocado on it for me and cooked up like chicken breast and so that was pretty awesome and then there's this other there's another um woman at work that um is adam's friend's mom oh right yeah um and she's she's kind of in and out of keto a little bit she wants to be more so than what she is but she's having a hard time getting her husband to do it too yeah so she asked me uh friday morning if i could text him and ask him if he'd bring two cheese shells for Oh, nice. So nice. he did the same thing for her. He made her, you know, made her up her own little container with um, two cheese shell tacos and, and kind of, I think it was just the same thing that I had, but I thought that was really nice. Been teaching them, been training them over there because <laughs> uh, they're getting a lot more keto customers coming in. They are. And, you know, a lot of times when you think Mexican, you, 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 you know, you think rice and beans, right? Mm -hmm. But, you know, there's also a lot of other things that, that kind of go along with that. It's like the, I usually get the fajitas. Fajitas are, as long as you don't eat the shells, so. A lot of a lot of cool stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but Stacy Stacy usually does the prepping, which I don't prep. We don't. We I mentioned don't that she's terrible planning. I don't. So I, I I food prep some chicken breasts for her next week because she didn't have any lunch meat, and she goes, I don't want to do with those. <laughs> I'm like, well, we don't. You're not getting the lunch meat this week, so you're you, you need something to eat. Well, I, I I don't know what to do about that. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Um, and so she puts in a quest bar, pork rinds, nuts, vitamin water, liquid stevia, deli meat and cheese in an insulated lunch bag with ice packs. That's a really good idea. Speaking of vitamin water. Oh man, here we go. <laughs> so I used to drink the crap out of that stuff. Like the lemon, the, the lemon stuff. Water zero, the lemon. Loved it. I drank like I don't know, like four or five. A and you day. never, and it's it's sweetened with erythritol, but you didn't, never even knew that. No, I didn't. But I used to drink it, and then I got away from it because I started drinking the Coke again. Yep. And that was like my freak. I had an IV hooked up on that shit. Um, oops. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh oh, she said the S word, guys. Um. So. I kind of got away from it, and then when we started keto. I just kind of thought it was something we couldn't have because I thought it was not erythritol i guess i well, don't it's know got, what i thought it does have i think what two carbs in it it does have two yeah, carbs yeah so, I mean. um and in the beginning 20 carbs didn't sound like much and i did not want to give up two carbs for a drink yep <laughs> now it's i have a different outlook on that yeah but it's different isn't it i'm super excited because i found um they have and i'm such a geek when it comes to game of thrones they yes, have fire are. and ice and so i bought them and the fire one is Yuck. spicy like watermelon it. lime. And I tried really hard. I wanted to like it because I like watermelon. But the lime comes in so strong at the end for me. I cannot. I can't she do can't it. Handle the lime. Um, Mason actually really liked it. Yeah. But the ice was freaking awesome because it's blueberry lavender. Yeah, and I'm a weirdo. Weird. And I love lavender flavored stuff. Like I made lavender um, chocolate chip cookies like a while ago. And I thought they were the bomb. And um, I think I'm pretty much about the only one of our friends who yeah. liked them. Yeah. Nick absolutely hated them. <laughs> yeah. They like flowers. Why am I eating flowers? Yeah. I don't think Nate yeah. liked them, but Tara liked them. I liked yeah. them. Yeah. It kind of tastes like Fruit Loops to me a little bit. Little. So anyway, the blueberry lavender is so good. It is so good. I kind of want another one now. 
she saw me. We were at Sam's Club yesterday. The grocery yeah. haul will be coming. And they had like a whole thing, like fire and ice. Like 20 you know? pack. And so they had 10 of each kind. And, and she, I was like, we need to get this because Mason will drink the, the fire and I'll drink the ice. Right. Yep. We didn't get it. Well, we do have people come by to pick up their children. So rather than having you deal with that whole thing, I think we'll go ahead and close out. Does anybody have any last questions before we uh, we end their broadcast? She said uh, the carbs come from the lemon juice. Yeah. Interesting. Yes. I think I've said that, actually. Have you? Yeah. Lemon and lime both have carbs. Mm. <laughs> well, Just we all know I don't listen to him. True story. So... All right, well, I think we'll sign off, guys. Uh, appreciate you joining us today. Yeah. I don't see any last-minute questions coming in. So. Great. Thanks for listening to me ramble. A lot. <laughs> All right. You guys stay keto. Have a good week. And we'll see you in the next videos. Oh, hi, Terry Lee. Sorry. Hi, Terry Lee. Bye, Terry Lee. End. <laughs>